Good evening. My name is David Grothes. Today's date is September 3rd, 2018. The title of my speech is, This is an American Civics Test. An American Civics Test. I cannot understand why there is so much confusion and disagreements about who is responsible to actually solve problems in the United States regarding something that is so easily understood that a kindergartner could answer the question which 300 million citizens, 100 senators, 435 representatives, one president, 50 governors, 50 attorney generals, nine Supreme Court justices, 1,000 judges, 1,000 law professors refuse to step forward and speak up about. Question number one, is it against the law to be a violator of the law? Yes or no? Question number two, laws are written by Congress. Yes or no? Question number three, the president is chief executive of the executive branch of the federal government. Yes or no? Number four, the Attorney General of the United States brings indictments against any individual who has violated the law. Yes or no? Number five, every single government employee who gets paid with taxpayer money must uphold the law and report any person who is knowingly violating a law. Yes or no? Number six, is the common defense being upheld with 10 million illegal aliens roaming around in every community? Yes or no? Number seven, is there a legal duty for every government employee to use all means necessary to have every single illegal alien detained and deported? Yes or no? Number eight, since 60,000 Americans have already been directly killed by illegal aliens, is there enough evidence in a court of law for probable cause to indict elected leaders who are derelict in their sworn legal duty, who are failing to fulfill their oath of office and defend the Constitution against foreign and domestic enemies? Yes or no? Number nine, any person who advocates others to violate a known law is committing an act of insurrection and needs to be indicted by the Attorney General. Yes or no? Number 10, Muslims have directly killed 3,500 Americans. Yes or no? When is every mosque and every Muslim going to be detained and deported? That's a question. In 1952, the McCarran Act was written to prohibit Muslims from entering the United States. 1952, Congress made an act called the McCarran Act. Look it up. Is there probable cause to detain and deport every Muslim from the United States after 3,500 Americans have been killed by Muslims? Yes or no? The president has legal authority and a legal duty to enforce every federal law. Yes or no? Number 15. No one is above the law. Yes or no? Number 16, what does equal justice under the law mean to a citizen? Number 17, can you pursue life, liberty, happiness in the United States knowing every elected leader and the people I mentioned in the second paragraph, if they fail to defend and uphold the Constitution as it's written, can you pursue Life, liberty, and happiness? Yes or no? 
Number 18, what would George Washington and Abraham Lincoln do today if presented with these questions? Contemplate that. Would George Washington not have every illegal alien detained and deported? Would Abraham Lincoln not have every illegal alien and every Muslim detained and deported? Ask that question to your local congressman, your local police officer, or your sheriff deputies in your community. Number 19, I think a kindergartner could figure out what should be done and what ought to be done in the United States concerning illegal aliens and Muslims. What does the rule of law mean? Does that mean that when a law is made by Congress, it must be enforced by those in the executive branch? Number 21. What is the definition of these words? The first word is sedition. The second word is insurrection. The third word is treason. The fourth word is Militia. The fifth word is indictments. The sixth statement or word is dereliction of a legal duty. What does the word guilty mean? What does the word probable cause mean? What does beyond a reasonable doubt mean? And what does the word prison mean? Have a great day. Can you have liberty without the enforcement of the law? Let me repeat that. Can you, as an American citizen, have liberty in your community without the enforcement of the rule of law? My recommendation is open the prison doors throughout the United States and begin to indict every person who is insurrection of federal law, who acts in a way that commits treason against the federal government. Every sanctuary city leader needs to be indicted and prosecuted today for insurrection of federal law, undermining civic order harboring illegal aliens, aiding and abetting illegal aliens, and failing to fulfill their oath of office. It's deplorable that I haven't heard one single sanctuary city leader or any sheriff deputy who's not honoring their oath of office, not put in prison. 60,000 Americans are dead because sheriff deputies, police officers, mayors, Governors are failing to fill their oath of office. They're not detaining people that have violated our sovereignty, invaded our country, and have killed 60,000 Americans. When is this nonsense going to end? I've heard sheriff deputies releasing illegal aliens in the city of Orange, in the county of Orange County, California. They're re releasing illegal aliens. In, in Denver, Colorado, in the Sheriff's Department. What kind of common sense is that? Is that neglect of duty? Is that dereliction of illegal duty? That's completely reprehensible, deplorable, and absurd that a rational person that gets $40,000 a year would release an illegal alien. I'm praying that those people that have released illegal aliens will be prosecuted. And all the illegal aliens that have committed crimes in their jurisdictions will be, the uh, individuals that release them will be held fully accountable for their dereliction of illegal duty. Could you say these words today? Give me liberty or give me death. Patrick Henry said those words a long time ago. Today, 60,000 Americans were killed because the dereliction of legal duty 
by those who, who get paid by taxpayers to protect their well-being and to protect their rights from being violated. There's a lot of those people in public office that are failing their duty. You have a great day and God bless you.